When I saw your work on, on, on social media, I thought, this, this is really beautiful. And I'm not sure I'd seen it before. For you, even though you had background in sculpture, was it a big leap to think, do you know what, I could, I could do this as a, an art form. I could sort of do this as well as my, you know, you've got lots of art in your life. But when did this come into your life? How did you sort of figure this one? Yeah, so I actually, I come from a completely sculpting background. So I studied in IDT where I did uh, prop and sculpture, which I loved. And I kind of went into film. But um, working on props and various sets and set design. Um, but then I kind of just evolved into wanting to make my own pieces. You know, like you don't really get to express your own passion when you're working in a creative industry. So I really wanted to find a way that I could express what I love, yeah. but also have it be mine. So in saying that, I do custom work, so it's never actually mine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, when we adopted Squire, and um, I just kind of fell in love with them. You know, I never yeah. realized how important pets were until you actually got your own, you know. And, and then... we should point out that Squire is quite friendly, which, <laughs> which I think might be the only cat I've ever met who's that. Yeah. <laughs> I have a beautiful cat, Mel, uh, and uh, doesn't tend to kind of hang out with us. Squire just seems to just say, I want to be in this. I want yeah. to be with people. But the, the, the leap into to, to sort of realizing that this is... Not only are you good at it, but then it's something that you could do as Lincraft design. This, this, I know that all came together quite quickly, quite easily. But there's a lot of plotting and planning because you had been making was it necklaces and yeah, and what was the other thing? Is that an odd earrings? Thing? So earrings, um, oh, I, I actually, I originally started with earrings, which were uh, little clay earrings that I'd made, and that completely flopped. So <laughs> then I continued on. I kept pushing and pushing. And then I moved on to the acrylic, which is a plastic-based earrings that you get mm. laser cut, and you can make them make them into all sorts of different uh, 3D shapes. So I started kind of experimenting with that, and then it slowly evolved to me wanting to make something that's a bit more organic. Because uh, right. in the end, I I've always loved creating uh, anything that's organic in the sense of human figures, animals, all that kind of stuff, and right. na nature and plant life. And um, so it kind of evolved into that, which then turned into pet portraits. Well, actually, first it was bolo ties. Right, that's, were, that's the word I know. What exactly yeah, is bolo that? Yeah, bolo ties. Uh, so uh, they're like a Texas style kind of cowboys. Right, right. They'd always wear them up really yes, high, yes, yes, you know. Yes. And um, I, being the cat lover I am, started with <laughs> weird cats and three eyed cats with horns and all sorts of weird nice. kind of mythical kind of creations and then it slowly evolved into less mythical and more custom work because a lot of people called up for custom designs right and uh, we should just check you, you're really really into the art are your parents hippies can you <laughs> are, are, are we are we dealing with hippies? like it does seem like is your yeah. world i don't know when you've grown up your art, world was art whether it was yeah. something that you evolved in at school or because it, it seems such a passion for you i don't know where that came uh, from there's actually a video of me when i'm five saying ah. that i love uh, you know, like, you know, family, you're like, oh, tell me what you want to be when you're yeah. older. And I'm five and I have like a lisp and no teeth. <laughs> and I'm saying how yeah. I want to be an artist and all this kind of stuff. So um, not, there is definitely a lot of art in my family. Like my aunt is a really good uh, glass blower and my dad is a surveyor and architect. Uh, okay. so there is kind of artistic and creative elements that kind of scatter throughout my family. Um, which is really nice. But, and, and did it ever yeah. cross your mind that this is actually a tough line of work to be in? Because any yeah. arts, whether you're an actor or a musician or a painter or anything, there's no kind of nine to five guarantees about it. There's no sense of, well, mm. you can just do your time and you'll get a good certificate at the end of it. Yeah. I don't know if there was a part of you that, that ever felt a little bit kind of scared of all, stepping into this rather than being doing an ordinary nine to five job. Yeah, definitely scared, but... Um, I know I always remember in like TY I got experience you know I, I did uh, my first work experience on film uh, in the art department was in TY and then I did that and I also did an office job and right. hands down I was like <laughs> I can't do this <laughs> so right. I decided that that was the kind of direction that I wanted to go in and I did that and uh, one thing I will say though film was a little bit uh, was very contractual based right. and I uh, I wasn't a huge fan of that, but then when I kind of started experience, experimenting with my own art mm. and it kind of started making sales in that aspect, then I kind of, you know, it really pushed me forward and made me want to continue. Well, as I said, your work leaped out at me. I don't know whether it took a while for, for people to catch on to what you were doing. I don't know whether that's mm. been a slow process for you, whether you've been surprised how quick yeah. it was or... Well, like I started um, the Lincraft design in 2021, but um, I've been actively pursuing 
kind of creative endeavors since 2019 when I graduated college. So there was a couple of ups and downs from that. And then the earrings kind of started taking out, taking off and they were quite uh, successful. And then the bolo ties, they were a little bit more of a slow burn mm. uh, until I progressed on to doing the pet portraits, which were a much bigger hit, which right. I guess is just because, you know, people can display them a lot more and um, they're kind of for everybody, not right. so much for, you know, like bolo ties can be quite quirky or they can be, you know. Sure, it's a, you know, a taste thing, but everybody loves their pets. Yeah, know. exactly. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, exactly. So everyone so, just loves their pets. So from, it's only 2021 that Lincraft Design sort of officially started. So yeah. it's, it's still relatively young. And yet, I don't know whether you'd feel comfortable in thinking, this is, this is it for me, this is what I'm going to do, or whether it just feels like an adventure, who knows where it'll go. I think it's definitely a mix of the both. You know, like I definitely love doing the custom portraits and I love doing all that, but I would love to kind of start creating my own uh, limited edition runs, which is something that I'm looking into doing at the moment. Nice. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the cat, dog, animal theme, you know, because uh, it's always it's really exciting and interesting in that side and I always think there's going to be people who would like to you know right. invest in those kind of pieces that they sure. can think for their animals but, I, yeah. I just noticed now with the autofocus on, 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 on the camera here <laughs> that Squire just keeps getting the autofocus to focus on you I don't know if, they, <laughs> if he knows what, by I moving know. his head this is going to work <laughs> I would be the focus of everything here uh, today <laughs> I think he knows <laughs> We should finish now. We should. I have some examples that we will do photographs, but you can maybe lift up the squire. You've done squire uh, yeah. uh, in your uh, in your portraits, and as a, would squire in any way, shape, or form recognize his beautiful self? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a cat! I am um, such a little diva, huh? But beautifully done. What we'll do is we'll give people um, obviously links to your social media and then direct contacts and they can sort of catch you. We'll, we'll do some photographs here too, but people can go explore on your, it's always good with social media just to go down the rabbit hole of seeing all the work you've done, but beautifully done. Yeah, so I'm excited. I love it. I got my first um, bird and horse. Oh, the other wow. Day, so of course. You can I got to do a little, uh, what are they, Conroy? Is oh, maybe, maybe. Kind of I like don't. A little, it's almost like a little budgie. Kind of bird and so. it's that tough now when it comes to like a totally new animal because you kind of get used to a dog head or, or a cat's head and then there are variations of course i think mm -hmm. less so with cats but obviously a bird is a very different uh shape yeah. as well I, I guess it is all the same once you have good photographs good angles you yeah, can exactly um i've always been pretty good at seeing the 3d elements that you need to kind of think right. like my mind definitely when it comes to art you know, there's working in 2D and 3D. 3D has definitely always been something that I that has come quite easily to me. Right. And um, so approaching that is always fun. And I always love taking on new animals and new sculptures. It kind of keeps it all fresh because, you know, there's only so many Maltese dogs you can do before <laughs> you're like, I need something new. <laughs> can, can we draw the line at snakes, though? I, 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 just thought, I don't think people should have snakes. I don't no. think that. <laughs> I think mine is tarantulas, but I'll do oh, it. That, you know, <laughs> if someone wants one, I'll do it. <laughs>